So, Sunday morning, pretty damn bright. We're about to head to the gym and I just wanted to show you what I was making for pre-workout. So Sam and I ate pretty late last night, so we're not really hungry. So chocolate rice cakes, I've got two chocolate rice cakes here and I've used the, yeah, I'm still in my dressing gown. Pippin nut, coconut, almond butter, this stuff is incredible. And then Sam's having three and basically best girlfriend ever over here is letting him have my Dr. Dax um, white chocolate and coconut peanut butter, but as everyone knows, when you get to the bottom of a jar, it always goes really dry. So basically what I've done is I've put the rest of it into here. I've put a little bit of the pepper nut. I've microwaved it ever so slightly and then just sat for like five minutes and mushed it all up. So that's his. And I've also just taken, so I've got my cod liver oil and I've just taken my shot of apple cider vinegar. So I'm taking the gold standard pre-workout. This is the fruit punch flavor. Definitely my favorite pre-workout. And... I'm taking it in a glass today. Normally you guys know I take it to the dome, but hey, you're gonna whisk it up. Down it, down it, down it. Oh, there's like- And the chunks, down it. No, ugh. <laughs> and I've decided to change my top again because, hey. Just a little side note for you all. If you are ever thinking about getting these wireless headphones that I get, people ask all the time what which ones these are. These are the Powerbeats 3. Sam just got them in black. Never get the white. If you're a girl and you wear makeup and fake tan like me, they end up gross. Is this couple goals? I've worn Beths a couple of times in the gym and uh, it's blocked everything out. They are pretty awesome. Okay, they're all clean. Right, let's go. Oh, and muscle food parcel right there we'll show you later what we got because we did a big order so it's sunday right now half one and we're about to head to the gym so we made it to the gym it's pretty goddamn ass sunny right now which is a good thing a, we're about to go train back and arms and we're doing it from my guide my lower back's feeling a little bit tender so i don't think i can do bent over rows we're gonna do dumbbell bent over rows instead but this is the session that we're gonna be doing today Let's give this a go. This is actually session five of the guide. So this means that we've completed week one. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to do a bit of cardio later as well, though, because my macros were a little bit shit yesterday. Not going to lie. I just have, like, my whole wardrobe in my boot. Boot drobe. Yeah. Lifting shoes, leggings, a million different jumpers. Just in case, right? Yeah, just in case. I also have your trainers for some reason. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the big green band. And uh, should we take the lifting straps? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay guys, getting straight into it. I'm gonna commentate over the top of my back workout. Now I started off with wide grip pull-ups and I'm using the big green resistance band you've seen me used on the channel before. So when you get to the top of that movement, you've not really got much assistance there. It's really just to help propel you up through the most challenging part for most people anyway of the pull-up. You've got to think about when you're using an assistant machine, yeah, it's great, it's going to help develop your pull-up. It's a very predetermined movement, it's up and down, you don't really have much control over your body, you're not having to stabilise yourself, so it's a lot more isolating and I personally feel like this exercise is just so much more like an actual pull-up. So when you do do pull-ups by yourself, You've not just got the muscle there, you've actually kind of got down the movement pattern, if that makes sense. So after I'd done this, I basically moved on to a bent over rows. Now, I was meant to do in the program um, barbell bent over rows, but my lower back was feeling very, very tender. So I decided to do um, dumbbell bent over rows because I don't really feel them as much in my lower back so I'm able to use like a stable support and then I tried chest supported rows so these are a little bit like seal rows but you've kind of got the bench on more of an incline I think I'd got it on like a three or a four and basically you're letting the dumbbells hang down enough to get that stretch through your lats and then contracting and pulling up imagine that you're scooping in more of like a semicircle um, positioning now um, next I moved on to lat pull down so this in the program was down as a drop set so I did a drop set here I did the positioning nice and wide using my hands as a hook now this is something that I see a lot of people doing try not to grip the handles as if you were putting your thumb underneath keep your thumb over the top act literally just like a hook you're a hook you're not holding and pulling through your bicep you're hooking pull through your elbow and try and feel that stretch and contraction through the lat and the middle of your back 
Now, I really like lat pull downs. These are probably one of my favorite exercises and it's definitely something that I feel like has helped to grow the width of my lats. So make sure you give this one a try. Make sure you've got two pretty challenging weights. I think I did um, about a eight to 10 rep range for both. So I did a drop set, dropped it down and then I basically wanted to work to failure or at least one rep out of failure on each one. And then I moved on to seated cable row. This again is another one of my favorite exercises that I absolutely swear by. And then when I'm bringing the weight forward, I rotate my wrists. So I'm going for more of a pronated grip. And then as I pull back, it's rotating sideways and it's turning more so the palms are turning in towards my body and I also like to make sure that at the bottom of the rep I'm not coming unhinged but I'm making sure that I'm getting that nice stretch through my lats so that's just my way of setting up I like to do it with the handles as well because I feel like I can get a better stretch but work out what works for you and run with it this one is a great exercise so try and get this one down you can obviously do it standing on a cable machine or on one of those plate loaded machines but personally I prefer the stretch I get from the cables because there's a, like a longer tension throughout the movement um, we couldn't get on any, on any of the preacher curl machines or anything like that that we'd got programmed in and I was getting pretty tired by this point anyway so basically I went over to the free weight section and I grabbed some dumbbells and did a bit of a superset like a pretty intense superset so basically here I'm doing incline dumbbell curls and then immediately after I'm talking failure you can't do any more immediately after stand up and carry on going push through that threshold obviously you'll be able to use your body as momentum you're going to do 10 more, 10 singles though, so it's only technically 5 per arm, and then you're switching over to hammer curls as well, so you're hitting the bicep from all angles. Seriously guys, give it a try, it's an absolutely epic workout, and I really hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. It's pretty raw, so please be kind in the comment section, I do show you a bit of like my physique and a bit of what's going on in my life at the moment so i hope you enjoy it stick around to the end and i will see you in the next video goodbye and i actually end up with like a tickle <laughs> is that is that a mini bicep fade it's coming back so we're going to be completely real right now this is my current physique so we're going to do a bit of a 360 you can see where we're at and then we can track it along with the summer shred so this is me currently from the front, from the side. So I hold my fat here and in my side boob. I've still kind of got tricep and I've grown a bum this off season. Um, and there's my back. I, mean, I can't really see my back, so I don't really know how my back looks. But so this is me right now. This is week one. Let's see where eight, 12 weeks can take us because I don't have any apps at all right now. Let's do this. Super sweaty, 20 minutes cardio done. Back workout done. Now to go get some food. And I just posted a picture on Instagram. A little, little bit of a heartfelt message. So go check that out. The whole point of me turning this camera on right now was basically just to say that. Um, back workouts are incredibly important. A lot of girls basically say to me like, I don't want to get a big back. Like I don't, I don't necessarily want a defined back. And like that's fine. Um, but I'd always recommend training back one for like muscular balance anyway so like you don't want to be rounded over because you've got a tight chest and you've not got any back muscles so the main thing that i'd say for a girl to train back is just purely because when you train your back and you get bigger lats your waist looks so much smaller repeat after me train your back get small waist the lats make do, do you not agree like yeah, it gives, that it gives you that like kind of like triangle lat wide lat down to this tiny waist i'm pretty up and down in terms of like my abs they're quite blocky so if i didn't have lats my chest and my abs would just be like straight up and down which is fine but for me i like that tiny waist to back ratio which is why i train my lats so much we're gonna go get food before i go completely delirious because i am right now and look at this car I'm not even doing anything. Look how steamy it is. Mm, it's gotten super steamy. It's because I'm getting all 
Right. Hyped up and sweaty and hot. Okay, so we just got back and first off, I'm about to make some post-workout grub, but I did promise you all that I would show you what we got from Muscle Food. So I'm gonna do that now, quickly show you what we've got in the fridge and the freezer, and then I'm gonna make some food because I am super, super hungry. Basically, this is something that I order every single time. So this is the Gold Standard Nutrition Steam Cooked Chicken. You know that I love these. These are definitely a staple in my diet, especially because we're always on the go. They're so convenient. Um, we also got some of these. Now these are new hence the great packaging, but these are the cheese and tomato light muscle food pizzas. So they're gluten free and the macros per 100 grams, 13 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs and 18.8 .8 protein. The fridge is very full, we've got a lot of fresh um, meat in at the moment. So we only did a, like a moderate order so it's not too much. But hey, this is our very super full fridge. While we're in here, I guess I might as well show you some other stuff as well. This is the OJ that I use. This is Tropicana 50% less sugar. Per serving, there's only 5.8 grams of carbs and it's a really good source of, obviously, vitamin C. We have bacon, hex sausages. This is the chicken sausages that I get if I haven't got a muscle food order. So basically from muscle food, I got some halloumi cheese because that is my favorite and I love it. It's a good source of fat. Uh, so then I got these melt in the middle cheeseburgers. They sounded incredible. More of obviously a high day. I'll put all the macros on the screen. Um, then I got the extra lean beef steak burgers, 4.8 grams of fat, 4.4 carbs, and 19.6 protein per burger. They are incredible. Some giant beef meatballs. Now, these taste so good, and these are actually for Sam because the macros are a little bit higher. So per 100 grams, there's 8.3 fat, 6.5 carbs and 19.6 protein again so quite similar to the beef burgers and you literally only need like three meatballs and then chop them in half and then I got these ones for me so these are the chicken meatballs now the macros for these are a little bit higher actually shit uh, so shit I didn't check the macros, that is your little tip of the day, always check the macros, but I figured that because they were chicken rather than beef, it'd be leaner, but clearly not. So per 100, this says there's 12.6 grams of fat, 6.1 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I reckon Sam will be eating these, or I'll have some, but just like make sure it fits into my macros. And then I also picked up this because this looked so good, Hickory Barbecue Chicken Steak. Now chicken steak just... I don't know, it tastes really good. I don't know how they do it. I try to do it myself and like slice it in half, but it doesn't work the same. So basically it's two grams of fat, 2.7 carbs and 23.4 protein, guys. There's 95% chicken and then the rest is like a glaze. The first ingredients of the glaze is dextrose and it's got glucose syrup powder in there, which is a little bit of a red flag for me. They are a treat. And then I also got some of the chicken sausages. We've got 1.4 grams of fat, 6.9 carbs, and 20 grams of protein per 100 grams. Now this is the Muscle Food Low Fat Protein Cheese. The macros of this, I don't know how they do this, and I'm not really sure that I want to know how they do this. Per 30 gram serving, there's 0.9 grams of fat, 0.5 carbs, and 10 grams of protein. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried a little bit of it and it's not the cheesiest of things. Like, I think it's a good replacement if you're having it with a meal and you just want a little bit of like a cheesy flavor with it or a little bit of that melty cheese. But on its own, I wouldn't say it tastes like too much, so you maybe need something else as well. And then I guess I'll just show you some of the other stuff we have in here. So courgettes are my staple. Add them to all my volume foods. We've got peppers in here as well. Baby spinach and lettuce. Um, these are really good as a little treat, light Greek style mullo yogurts. The macros of these are a little bit higher carb, but 0.2 grams of fat, 7.5 carb, which 6.8 of that is sugar, um, but 6.3 protein. So they are a nice little treat and strawberries. I'm obsessed with strawberries at the minute. I don't know why, but hey, not a bad thing. And then Dairy Lee Cheese Spread Light. So the macros of this are actually really good as well. So per 25 gram serving, there's only 1.8 grams of fat. Um, 1.8 fat, 1.3 carb, and 3.9 protein. So that's nice. 
And then I also use the Two Chicks Egg Whites. I do use whole eggs quite a lot as well. But the Two Chick Egg Whites, I don't generally get my egg whites from Muscle Food just purely because I've had them before and they've come like bust. They do come in a bag so it didn't like leak over everything else. But um, just for ease now, I tend to get it because they sell these in Morrison's. So that's a little insight into my fridge and what I kind of order from Muscle Food every month. You kind of order the same kind of stuff, but hey, there you go. You can see now what we get. And now I'm gonna eat and make food because I'm freaking starving. Fry light, one cal spray. My nice chipped gel polish. That is what happens when you're a girl who lifts. So I'm gonna get this in me. Nice little post-workout grub. Nice, high protein hit, and I think there's about 20 grams of protein in there. Then obviously I put the light cheese, mm, ketchup, of course, you know that I do that. Um, so this is just a little bit of a snack because we're gonna go out now, we're gonna go for a little bit of a wander, and then we're gonna make proper, proper food later on. Okay, so I've tucked into these already, but those melt in the middle burgers from Muscle Food that I told you about earlier. Oh. My. God.